welcome back in this video we will learn how to delete a given node in C program in the previous videos we have seen the role of the start pointer that always points to the first node in the list and the role of a temp pointer here which traverses over the list and there is also a third pointer called mnew which actually holds the address of the newly created node which is to be inserted into an existing linked list. But during the deletion of node from a list, we do not require this mnew pointer. Now let us check a variable here that is int data and we load the data variable with the value 78 and we see that the 78 is there in the first node. So this node is to be deleted. Now you see that this first node in a list is a special node which is taken care of by the start pointer. Now if this node is deleted, then the start pointer should point to the second node in the list. So when first node is to be deleted from a linked list, it has to be handled in a different way. So we write temp here, temp equal to star. So this will be 743, that is start is holding the address 743. So 743 is loaded inside the temp variable. And as soon as you write 743 in temp, the null vanishes and it establishes a link to the first node. Now this is a check here that if temp is null, that means start is null, then the list is empty, right? So this is just a check. And if it's not, that means there is at least one node in the list. So we write while temp not equal to null, if start x is data, then we have to make that start equal to start next. That means start next is 478 here. That means this node. So this should be the start. So this start next is actually 478. So start is now 478, right? So this becomes 478 and it starts pointing to the second node in the list, right? Next, free temp. Now free is a function, is an inbuilt function that deallocates the memory pointed by temp. So this memory should be deallocated, right? So it will look like this. Now you see that this memory has been deallocated. That means temp is pointing to 743, which is not an allocated memory here. So this temp pointer has become a dangling pointer. Now to avoid this, you write here temp equal to null. So when you write like this, this becomes null and this link breaks and the null pointer has been established. Right? Now you give a break here because your job is over so you do not need to move temp further. Okay? Now let's get back to the previous situation. Now our given data here 
will be either 29 or 89 or 53. You have to find out which is the node where the data is residing. Right? So, to search that, the temp will help you definitely. But we need another pointer that will follow the temp pointer. So, in the else part, we will write those codes. But let us see a demo how the save is actually doing the job along with the temp pointer. Now, see here. This is a save pointer, initially pointing to null, and temp is pointing to the first node at 743. Now these are the two lines you have to execute repeatedly until temp stands on that node where the data is residing. Okay, so this is statement number one and this is statement number two. So when you finish it up, if your condition is not satisfied, then you get back to number one again and execute this statement number one. In the statement number one is written save equal to 10. That means 743 will be loaded inside the save pointer, right? So if this is executed, then 743 is stored. And as soon as 743 is stored here, the null pointer vanishes and the link is established to 743. So save is also pointing to 743 now. And you have to execute the statement number 2, that is temp equal to temp next. So the temp next means 478 here. So 478 will be loaded inside temp, right? So you execute this and 478 is loaded and as soon as you write 478 here, this link vanishes and this link has been established. You see that save is just behind the temp, right? Now check whether the data inside this node where temp is actually pointing this is the required data or not. If it is not, then you have to move temp further and the save will follow temp just one node behind, right? So you get back to statement number one and you execute statement number one where save equal to temp. Now temp is 478. So it is loaded inside save and saves now starts to point to the second node. And statement number two is temp equal to temp next. That means 521 will be here and it will start pointing to this third node. So you see that save is always following temp and just one node behind temp, right? So in this way, we will move save and temp towards the end of the list and try to find out that node where the given data is residing. So, let's get back to here. So, you see here that the save is ready to be used. So, you write struct node star save equal to null. Okay. Next, suppose we give the number 89. So, 89 is the data that is present in the third node here, right? So, you write save equal to temp, that is statement number 1. So, this link vanishes and 743 is written over here and save is also pointing to the first node. And we have statement number two, that is temp equal to temp text. That means temp will now be loaded with 478 and it will start pointing to this. Now, here you check whether this node is carrying the given data or not. So you write, if 
Tempex is matching with data, then we should adjust somehow so that this node will be deleted, right? But we see that the data is 89 and the Tempex is 29, so it is not matching. So if condition will not fire, so what we have to do, we have to run the loop and the save equal to temp will be executed again. So you write 478 here, that is temp is 478. So as soon as you write 478, save starts pointing to this second node and the next line is temp equal to temp next. That means temp will point to the third node. Okay. Now after this, you see that whether temp x is matching with data or not. Yes, we see that temp x is 89 and the data is 89, so it matches. So we now have to delete this node at 521, this one, and we have to link this second node with the fourth node, like this. Right? So how to do that? We write save next equal to temp next. So what is temp next? Temp next is 291. That means this one. So 291 is loaded inside save next. So where is the save next? Here. So this portion will be loaded with 291 like this. Now when 291 is written here, this link breaks and this link is established. So now the second node is linked with the fourth node. Right? Next what you have to do? We have to pull this third node out of this list. So you write free temp. Now temp is pointing to this third node at 521, so it has been freed like this. That means memory has been deallocated. And in the same previous way, we have to make the temp null to avoid dangling pointer. So you make it null, it vanishes and this null pointer has been established. Now you write the brick because your job is over. So this third node will be pulled out and it will finally look like this. So I hope this concept is clear to you how to delete a given node in a linked list. In the next video, we will see how to delete a node at a given position in a linked list. Thank you for watching and take care.